So wait, Miss Hamblin, why do I even need to take calculus? Well, the real reason is because it's a graduation requirement. So TJ has as one of its requirements that you, a student will fulfill at least either A, B, or B, C calculus. So we do give students the option to decide which of those is a better fit for them. But at the end of the day, one or the other has to get taken in order to get a TJ diploma. Oh, okay. Um, so, Ms. Hamlet, I'm interested in doing engineering. So, uh, how would that influence my decision of whether I want to take AB or BC? Well, it can. It should be a factor in your decision. Um, typically, students that want to study engineering, it's advised slash recommended slash encouraged by universities that students choose the BC route. Um, but there, you know, you could also make a good case for taking AB and then BC. But at some point at high, in high school, you really want to take BC because colleges look at what, what courses are offered and they want you to challenge yourself as much as possible within the courses that TJ has. So we do encourage BC um, to be taken at some point. The oh. other factor though really to keep in mind is um, what your pre-calc or I guess now we're calling it TJ Math 5's teacher is recommending for you. The math teachers here do a great job really putting thought into what they recommend for you as a next step. They've gotten to know you over the course of a year, they have a good sense of your work style um, and your math foundation. So really take to heart, really take into consideration what your teacher recommends. Speaking of uh, what math classes that TJ offers, um, what are some of the options or some of the more common options that people take the year after they take BC? Good question. So after BC, you have a few options. The most common route, I guess, would be to go on to multivariable calculus and then linear. But more and more students are opting for other things because our offerings have expanded greatly in the past few years. Um, multi is still currently a prereq for classes like concrete math, probability theory, and AMT. So those are alternatives to linear. At this point in time, though, you do need multi to take any of those other options. Um, another example would be cryptography. Cryptography is a great elective um, and there's always AP statistics if, um, if you've had enough of the calculus track and want something different. Cool. Um, is there any other special advice you would give to a student that's trying to you know, figure out whether what they want to take AB or BC? Um, look at what else you're taking that year. Um, if you're really like take in some other really challenging classes, look at the big picture. Do you have time? BC Calculus is a really difficult class. It takes a lot of time. It moves very quickly. It doesn't slow down until the AP exam. So, you know, you really want to, to take an inventory of what else you're taking. What other extracurricular obligations do you have? Are you studying for the SATs? Are you, um, do, are you a leader of a big club? Things like that when you're making that decision. Um, talk with your counselor, talk with your math teacher, talk with your parents, and really come to the best decision for you. There are options for a reason, so we want to give students that option. Also consider, you know, if you're going into engineering field or not. If you're, if you're really not interested in engineering, then perhaps AB is a better route. It goes slower, it's about half the pace. Um, it's still a difficult class, it's an AP course with, you know, high standards, but it, it goes at a little bit more of a comfortable pace for a lot of our students. Okay, thank you so much. Sure.